folks. Last time we worked on the tattoo app, we extracted a generic version of the service we were using. And so today what we're going to try to do is convert over some of the stuff that currently using is using um, hard-coded prototype values to use the service as well. So let me show you what we have so far. This is what we worked on last time. It's our generic HTTP service. And then we have another service um, here. It takes an endpoint and puts out a blog post. So one thing about this service is that the only way to get stuff out of it right now <clears throat> is to have an endpoint that's going to return JSON of the specific type that we put in as our generic value that's supposed to be included in the completion handler here. So today what I would like to do is change that such that we can continue to use services for the places where we have prototype data but instead of that prototype data being in the view controllers themselves it's now going to be in the service. So here's how I'm thinking about doing this. Right now, this is where we get the data out, and what I want to do is put that in a method that we can then um, override in the services if we want to. So this is going to be the default implementation, and then in other services, we can override that to something else if we like. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. We're going to make another method, and let's call it unwrap our data. Now it needs to do a couple of things. First of all, it's in this do block. It's going to be taking that JSON decoder thing as its default implementation. So it's going to have to throw. And the other thing that it's going to need to do is it's going to need to take in this data object. So here's what we'll do. We'll say func unwrap. And that's going to take in data. And it's going to be of data type because that's what we get back down here. It needs to throw and it needs to return whatever key is. Yeah, because the result, let's make sure that's true. Um, yeah, it needs to return like this type of an object. It's going to be T. Do we call that down here? try. And then our return value is going to be what comes out of this. Yay, build succeeded. Let's see if it actually works. I have so many. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Pardon. Y'all, my voice has been struggling for like months a month and I'm not sure what's up with that yay all right let me get rid of this I don't need so many simulators so these are the places where we have this default stuff and that's where we're going to be using one of these things one of these services so let's go over to the phrase category view controller. We have these categories. So what this is is a list of strings. And so what we want to do is return that out of a service. So this is the way that that would look. In our services, we would do class phrase category service HTTP service It's just going to be strings. Yeah. So then what we're going to do is override unwrap. What we're going to do is return um, this, this, and then we'll do
what we do in our home view controller. Which is this. And we make our blog post service. There. Okay, so let's look at our phrase category view controller again. So we're just going to instantiate that as like a new a new array and then we're going to do view will appear and here we're going to say self dot um, and for this we're going to do phrase category service phrase category what do we call it phrase category service let me out. There we go. Self dot phrase category service phrase. Yeah. Missing argument for parameter endpoint. So we have to include endpoint for now. We'll have to come back and revisit that. Um, okay. So then if we do self dot what was I trying to do? Phrase category service. And then not all this crap. So instead, firm phrases, and this is going to be phrases, or rather categories, 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 confirm categories, and then we're going to say self dot categories is the categories. And then, do we need to refresh? I don't think. Okay. So that's going to be our categories. And now we have our integration. This needs to be a variable. Not a constant. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure this is going to work. Let's give it a default value of what the heck. Joys of computing. All right, let's try that. Now this might fail. Let's use confirm categories here. And then the other thing is that it cannot find type data in scoop. This might be the cause. Foundation is not imported, which gives us a data type. That's my bad. I took that out. We didn't need it before. We need it now. A lot of things in my head. Okay. 
So this is now not working, and we need to determine why. Let's see. Let's try. Actually, let's not even do that. Let's put a breakpoint right there. And actually, because this is called and view will appear, we shouldn't have to restart the app. But I already did it, so. So it's not getting called. So we have to determine why. Retrieve. Right, because we already did it right there. All right, let's try it again. There we go. So confirmed category so far doesn't have anything. And why is that? Because this is getting returned. If we go back to retrieve. Problem getting data from API. So this is because this doesn't give back JSON, which is something we're expecting. So watch this. This is a hack. Don't do this at home, please. But it's because that thing that we gave it doesn't give back JSON to use, even though we don't use it. Let's just play straight through and see how we do. I'm feeling reckless today. So we return that. All right, I do not need to go through all these. So now confirm categories. There we go. We get our confirm categories. There they are. Beautiful. So gorgeous. And now if we play through. We still don't have our phrases. Let me look at my breakpoint navigator and make sure all my stuff's turned off. All right, we're going to try this one more time without those. I don't think this is the problem, but just in case. Yeah, so I think right here we have to call self dot categories collection view dot reload. All right, we're going to reload the data. Da 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 da! Great. So why bother Jiculus? Why? Here's the reason why we're doing this, chickadees. Is because this is going to give us a really convenient file, so that that shows these are all the services we need, and not only is this the type that we need to get back from each of those service calls, but also this is an example of the exact data that we need to use. So that when we go to build the backend, we can say, I know exactly what this backend needs to serve. So that's what we're gonna do here.
Now that having been said, we do have that one thing with the endpoint which we want to fix. So this is what we're going to, and the reason that it's like that is it, it needs to, to even get here, there needs to be some kind of a result or there uh, needs to be some kind of data that we're getting back. And that comes in right here and we have to not be getting an error. So if there's a problem getting data from the API, then we're, our, we're still screwed with this current representation. So for now, what I'm actually gonna do is, let's see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna give this a default value. I don't want to have to make this optional because it's always going to be there if it's in the initializer. Although I think actually it doesn't have to be optional if you require it in the initializer. But this is going to have to be not only there, but also like serving up data. So this is what I'm going to do. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm not recommending this strategy. I'm going to take something that I know works for now and I'm going to shove it in here. Okay, and we're not going to leave it like this forever. To do. Replace default endpoint. which serves to prevent problem getting data from API error on services that stub the completion result. Here we go. Now, okay. So now we have our home view controller and our phrase category view controller. Let's go ahead and commit here. Can you see? Okay, there we go. Add what we were previously committing. Commit it as adjust HTTP service to allow for extensions that stub the completion results. That stub the completion result or modify or return or operate on the API return value before calling the completion handler demonstrated with phrase category screen. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. So we should be clean. Great. So now let's go ahead and do it also with our name, whatever it's called. Clans list view controller because this does this clan list. So we're going to do very similar to what we do in the phrase category view controller. Grab, plop, var, plans, plan service, plan service. That doesn't exist yet self.clan service 
people the clan service. Let's yank this. And then this is going to be clan service. What this is going to do is it's going to retrieve clans. And these are going to be confirmed clans. And these are going to be clans. These are going to be clans. These are going to be confirmed clans. Clans list view, or whatever it's called. Clan table view. It's going to be reloading the data right there. What do I have on my clipboard? This thing. Because we're going to make a clan service. Watch this. Class. Clan service. HTTP service also returning an array of strings for the moment. Override. Punk unwrap. Return. This. Any. Now that should just work immediately. Let's make sure that's true. So while that's building, I'm going to format this. Maybe we should put a weight spinner in there. Save that for a future one. Replace hard coded prototype values in clan list view controller with a call to a service that stubs these values. Great. So we have all that up. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to make um, a when you click on each of these things you're supposed to get something so let me show you an example of this one second Okay, so when this loads up, so when we hit this and you go to one of these, you're supposed to be able to get like a list of the um, individual phrases and then when you click a phrase you're supposed to get all this so that's the next thing we're gonna build but we're gonna be able to stub out a service with our new service stubbing protocol um, in order to figure out exactly what needs to be returned particularly when we get to this detail page so we will do all of that in our next stream. In the meantime, have a good day.